So it is kind of fun looking at these vendors and kind of a trip down memory lane when it comes to a lot of these toys and stuff like that. Today we don't have a full episode for you. We just have a highlights episode of our haul that we got from the Winnipeg Comic Con. Who we saw there and our thoughts on it. But what are we drinking? But this is your beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called again? Tommy Doyle's pumpkin ale? Tommy Doyle's or crushed pumpkin ale. <laughs> boogeyman, boogeyman. <laughs> this year's Comic Con is kind of similar to every year's Winnipeg Comic Con, where it's a lot of the same vendors and stuff like that. Yeah. So the first thing we did when we got there was try to find that one guy who always has good VHS tapes. You want to get a beer right away or no? no sure, or if you want to, we can. Just walk around a bit first. You want to get a beer? Or you want to head right to the VHS? Let's uh, let's head right to the VHS. Well, we got to find that guy first. Yeah. It took us forever to find the guy. <laughs> yeah. We were kind of in the right spot to begin with. Yeah. Then we went way to the opposite side to start. Do you want to go around or go through? Uh, yeah, go through here. Cut through all this shit. We snaked our way through up all the vendors and shit. We're like, where the fuck is this guy? Hey, boss. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be Andre the Giant. I don't know what the hell that thing was. Okay, so where is this dude then? You guess he's not in his usual spot. Like, I hope that wasn't the guy, was it? I don't think so. It, oh. did, it didn't look like him. And then he was right where we had started, basically. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. So we did pick up a few tapes from this guy and from some other vendors too. Had a couple of good movies and little tidbits. It's over Super here. Super rickety table. Things about to fall <laughs> over. Oh Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna touch that shit. Well, let's go through our haul. Yeah, Adam did a hell of a lot better than I did this year. My stack is bigger. <laughs> but it also means I just spent more money. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Well, the guy didn't have like a crazy amount of good VHS this year. He yeah. did last year. We cleaned up last year. But uh, basically, I got, I ended up getting Aguieri, the Wrath of God, <laughs> where the natives all wanted to kill. Uh, Kinski. Kinski. <laughs> uh, and this gem here, I think, is uh, Autopsy, this Italian giallo, giallo VHS. I'm interested about that, but it has mold on it. And then last year, when you got a bunch of tapes from that guy, a bunch had mold on them too. Yeah, so I had to clean them all. So all I the ones you them. had had mold last year. None, I was lucky. But, really? You didn't yeah. get any? No. Damn. And then I also got um, this Pokemon card, which is in the middle of my stack for some re <laughs> weird reason. And Cronenberg's Shivers. That's a good <clears throat> collector's edition. Yeah. Director's cut. There you go. And what did I get here? Well, I picked up Wolfen. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty damn It's good. the shitty Warner Brothers hits version, but oh well. Yeah. Uh... The Howling, the movie time version again, but whatever. <laughs> yeah. I don't have The Howling on VHS. Have it on DVD, though. Dementia 13. Yeah. This is... I don't know if this is a special version or anything on it. No. But still. Yeah, it's still cool. Conquer Worm. <laughs> the Conquer Wang. <laughs> uh, picked up the comedy of Vampire Killers. <laughs> Fearless Vampire Killers yep. with Roman Polanski. Fear! 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 Vampire Bat, which I'm sure is just god awful. <laughs> but... Yeah. but it's interesting, though. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. It's like only an hour long, it's 63 minutes long, so. And I hope it's the actual right movie in there because it's not even labeled. There's no... Yeah. A lot of those good time yeah. ones don't have labels. Um, and the last VHS is Kingdom of the Spiders. That's a good one. By Interglobal Home Video, which was a Canadian distribution. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and it's... Apparently these are kind of sought after, these Interglobal videos. I don't know. They look like crap, though, because they're all recorded on the... The long play yeah. or whatever, so. <laughs> I got tons of those, yeah. fuck. Um, and some DVDs, too. Yeah. Fright Night. 
which I've never actually never seen Fright Night mm -hmm. until yesterday. I watched it. It was fucking great. It's been a long time for me. I can't believe I've never seen Fright Night, but yeah, yeah it was really good. It happens. Uh, the Prophecy, which is a great movie. Yep. Took a big chance on Hellraiser Deader. <laughs> Deader? I'm sure it's garbage. Because this is when they started making those Hellraisers that weren't even Hellraiser movies. Yeah, yeah. They were just other scripts that they put Pinhead in. For like a minute. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's like walking down the stairs yeah. and then that's it. It's Doug like... Bradley gets a big payday. <laughs> Silent Deadly Night Collection, which does not include any of the good ones. <laughs> Yeah, of course. It's three, four, and five. And actually, five is not bad. I don't mind the toy maker. No. <laughs> but I figured we'd probably be covering a lot of these sequels in the future, so might as well have them on hand to uh, to rip. Yeah. And then the classic, The Cabinet of Caligari. Yep, not bad. And then we also found these, and I took a chance on them just because the artwork is so cool. A magazine called Creepy, or a comic book called Creepy. And there was a whole shitload of these, right? And they just picked a couple that had neat covers, even though they all had neat covers. Mm -hmm. But um, they're cheap enough just to yeah. check out. And you, even if you don't like them, you hang them on the wall because it's a neat artwork. Yeah. All of them had crazy covers. Kind of that um, sort of Tales from the Crypt kind of style, thing, yeah. you know? Uh, I ended up getting Zombie 3 on DVD. I think I overpaid for it too, but <laughs> 10 bucks? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. You got it now. Yeah, so. That was it. Yeah, I didn't go crazy on the DVDs. I usually don't. So, mostly, more the VHS. DVDs are like usually way too, too expensive. It depends where you go. Some places have them really cheap. Um, like the place I got the DVDs from was a uh, booth for a, a local store called Planet of Sound, and it was like, buy three, get one free, or yeah. whatever. So if you find four you like, mm -hmm. you get one free. <clears throat> well, that's where I got this one from, too, but yeah. this was the in the more expensive bin. Oh, yeah, whatever. it wasn't the uh, the deal bin. Yeah, it was on the wall. And we kind of lucky where, um, like, the, the VHS guy, like, we didn't even have to bargain or anything with him. Like, we took our stacks up to the guy, and he's like, what kind of deal can I give you yeah, guys? Yeah, yeah, it was, you know, that guy's really cool. So he remembered us from last year, and, you know, we saw one guy who had some really cool posters. He had uh, original Silent Night, Deadly Night poster. Oh, yeah. And a couple of other posters, and we're like, hmm, like, how much are those posters? Oh, uh, 500 bucks? Yeah, like, <laughs> Some of these go for 7000 and all that. It's like, yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. People are going to be walking out with those. Yeah, like, good luck selling a $500 poster at a Comic-Con. <laughs> yeah. You just get it wrecked. We're joking. You get the poster, roll it up, and then you, like, trip and fall on it. It's all like an accordion. Yeah. just completely crushes it. <laughs> But it was a fun con, like, we always enjoy just walking around and taking in the sights and looking at the costumes. There's some neat costumes this year. Nothing that topped last year's, though, that guy dressed up as Sean Connery from Zardoz. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's right! Yeah. But this year, there's a couple of good costumes, like the uh, Dr. Claw from mm -hmm. uh, Inspector Gadget. He had the chair all strapped to his back and everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the hand or whatever, yeah. yeah. You with the cat? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... And we saw Optimus Prime, too, in all his transforming glory. Again, our buddy <laughs> Optimus Prime. Yeah. <laughs> We're not really into standing in line and getting people's autographs and the photo ops and stuff like that. It's just not for us, you know. We're, yeah. we're kind of talking about it because Heather Langenkamp was there. Mm -hmm. And we're standing there like, like fuck, like, maybe we should have brought something, you know, a, yeah. a, a VHS or something to get signed. And they were like, well, what's the point? Like, so watch her signatures on it. Like, it's <laughs> not like we're into flipping stuff. We don't really resell any of our stuff. So, yeah. So it's just like, oh. Yeah, it's like, oh. there, there's ink on it now. Oh, okay. Like, Heather Langenkamp. Oh, there she is. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. The whole fucking show, Rob Van Dam. The photo yeah. ops and stuff like that. We've never had that done. I don't even know how it works, really. <laughs> well, I did go. I went up to the booth, right up to the booth to check the prices, and I was basically this close to Heather Langenkamp. I yeah. saw her, 
Go right up close and personal. Just go up to the table there. Nah, I don't want a bugger. Well, I just wanted because they got the prices up there. How much was it? You didn't see? It was eighty dollars. I could have said a word to her probably, but I didn't bother. Uh, but the big draw this year for Winnipeg Comic Con was Elijah Wood mm -hmm. was there. And it's funny, we didn't even get a chance to see him because when we got there, he was taking a break. Yeah. And I think we had left kind of when he came back from the break. But people are already lining up. Oh, yeah, it yeah. was crazy. And, yeah, and the interesting thing, too, Heather Langenkamp's line, there was, like, at any time, at the best... Five people or something in line? Or is that Rob Van Dam? That's Rob Van Dam. Oh, well, yeah. So she's I quitting. thought you buy the stuff there and then you get in the line. No. 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 RVD is getting more love than Heather Lang. Can. The people who do voice work and yeah. shit. And their lineups were enormous. Huge, it's like, yeah. I don't know. It's weird, right? Yeah. It's every con's a little different. Like uh, this year is a bunch of okay names, but you know the one year where the only good name was Bruce Campbell. That was crazy. Yeah. Like, uh, that one year, there was Bruce Campbell and, like, the Trailer Park Boys and maybe a couple of other real C-listers. Mm -hmm. And, like, there was nobody in line to see anybody else except for Bruce Campbell. Yeah. And his lineup was, like, around the fucking perimeter of the inside of the building. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. They had to stop his signing so he can go do his Q&A. Mm -hmm. Then everyone had to either stay in line or hope to get back in line at the same spot after the Q&A. Yeah. I don't know if it'd be worth it to get out of line if yeah. it's that big. It's like, yeah. nah, just stay put. So then after the con, we went to a local brewery, which is right down the street. It's funny, it's local, but it's not local. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. actually a brewery from Ontario that has a spot downtown Winnipeg called Lake the Woods Brewery, and we hung out there and had a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah, a couple. Went home and it was a crazy sunset. It was like this beautiful sunset on the way home. Yeah. Kind of put me in a good mood, even though you're kind of sad the con's over. It's like, oh, look at the sunset. Pretty beautiful. Then we came back here and drank more. <laughs> yeah. And just watched silly stuff and laughed our asses <clears throat> off at Night Gallery. Bonafide! Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 So all in all, it was a really good day, a good con. Yeah. Had a, yeah. had a really good time. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Didn't run into as many uh, people that we knew down there, but it's there's so many people, you know, the chances of you running into a friend are kind of 50-50, yeah. you know? Yeah. In the last few years, there were people that noticed us from the channel, but this year there was, like, nobody came up to us and no. said anything, so. Yeah. Our fame is fading. <laughs> <laughs> we don't usually do these haul videos, but... Yeah, but something like the Comic Con, and we have some yeah. stories. Yeah. Some footage of the con we can share too. There was a few vendors that had some good toys, but yeah, too much money. Like, even the guy with the VHS, he wanted like what three hundred dollars for that Raphael. Yeah, there were some good toys, but they were all pretty pricey. I was flipping yeah. through some old Ghostbusters toys, and it's like, ah, you know, they're not sealed. You know. Oh yeah. If they're sealed in a box, it'd be different, but. Some things is like I gotta finish off a couple of like the fright features, the original fright features. I still need Winston and oh, yeah. couldn't find them. But even then, they were like twenty five bucks a throw for like an open toy. It's like ah, fuck. Yeah, it's kind of a lot. Yeah, we did see uh, a couple of toys that we used to have. A couple of Terminator toys. Oh yeah, which that's was right. Cool. Yeah. I used to have the uh, the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah. The, and then uh, also the car too, which. That T2 car with the missile thing yeah, on it. Like, yeah, that, that wasn't in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> not even like, sure, the motorcycle was in the movie, but not like the way the toy looked. The toy yeah. looked nothing like in yeah. the movie, you know? But anyways, and then there was one, the uh, Flesh Regeneration Station, that, which that, Adam used to have. Yeah, I used to have that, the Bio... Generator, the bio flesh regenerator, or something. <laughs> yeah. I forget what it was called, but yeah, I had that. It was the most useless fucking <laughs> toy. It it only worked like once. I remember you put all the flesh on like the the skeleton, and then yeah. and then that's all you can do. Like the thing doesn't move. You can't articulate the thing. He's just straight. Yeah. So you can't play with him, really. <laughs> yeah. He's just this naked guy, like this naked guy with no wang that you kind of like, <laughs> yeah. and you rip the flesh off. I'm like, what kind of fun is that? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> shitty. Like, they didn't think that through all the yeah. way, you know? And then that weird powder shit you got to make the flesh mm -hmm. dry it up and like, 
it was all poison. Yeah, like it's <laughs> it's probably all full of lead and yeah. asbestos and everything. So it is kind of fun looking at these vendors and kind of a trip down memory lane when it comes to a lot of these toys and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. But we didn't want to spring the money for some of them. Way too much money. Well, that's it for us. And until next time, keep drinking. Your stack's all small. That's <laughs> all pathetic. Oh, what the hell's that? Uh, the hell? Some Pokemon <laughs> card? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> we'll add that into the mix there. All right. You want to introduce it then? Yeah, sure.